Hello friends, welcome to my channel Explore with Joyita. Football is second most famous sports in India and in terms of viewership it is third just behind cricket and kabaddi. Football is much popular in the states like West Bengal and in Kerala too. Football was introduced to India by British soldiers in the mid 19th century. It spread because of the efforts of Nagendra Prasad Sarbadhikari. Now there are roughly 50,000 football clubs and academies operating in India. This is a shortened list of professional football clubs located in India with leagues and states they play in. Football's origin in India is entwined with the arrival of British colonizers during the early 19th century. While records indicate football matches taking place in port cities such as Calcutta, Madras and Bombay, they remained primarily confined to the European community, particularly British army and naval officers stationed in the country. However, a pivotal moment arrived in 1877, a few months after Queen Victoria's official ascension as the Empress of India. This marked the birth of Indian football when young Nagendra Prasad Sarbadhikari, heir to a distinguished Bengal aristocratic family, stumbled upon British soldiers playing football on the grounds of the Calcutta Football Club. The incident sparked a spark of curiosity within Nagendra Prasad Sarbadhikari, compelling him to take a closer look at the intriguing game. An identical interaction with a British soldier resulted in his first kick of a football, possibly the first recorded instance of an Indian engaging in the sport. Whether he was truly the first Indian to kick a football remains debated, but the significance of this event in India's football history is undeniable. Enthused by this experience, Nagendra Prasad Sarbadhikari shared his encounter with unbridled enthusiasm among his peers at Calcutta's renowned hair school. His infectious excitement led to a collective decision among his friends to pool their resources and purchase a football. A trip to a sporting goods store inadvertently yielded a rugby ball instead of a football. reflecting the then prevailing confusion between the two sports despite their unintended deviation the group spirited attempts at playing football with a rugby ball drew a fascinated crowd among them were european teachers who witnessed their enthusiastic efforts a professor from the presidency college g a stack recognized their passion and graciously intervened to teach them the rules of the game with his guidance nagendra prasad sarbadhikari's understanding of football deepened this young enthusiast impact extended beyond casual games he spearheaded the formation of the boys club india's first organized football club inspiring students from institutions like presidency college Calcutta Medical College and St Xavier's College to establish their own teams collaborating with his friends like Nagendra Mullik he established a friends club a significant step that laid the foundation for club football in India Nagendra Prasad Sarbadhikari's commitment to the sport intensified after joining the presidency college He established a series of sporting clubs in Calcutta, each progressively larger and more ambitious. The Wellington Club and the Sova Bazaar Club stand out among his initiatives. The Sova Bazaar Club is established with support from the royal families, particularly symbolizes societal progress by embracing members across class, caste, community and religious affiliations. One of Nagendra Prasad Sarbadhikari's triumphs was the formation of the Indian Football Association IFA in 1892 a crucial milestone in the shaping the sports structure in India although he declined to become its first Indian member 
His influence was instrumental in nominating Kali Mittal for the position. This association led the groundwork for the eventual establishment of the All India Football Federation (AIFF) in 1937. Nagendra Prasad Sarbadikar's legacy is one of resilience and transformation. He shattered class barriers in football, championing inclusivity by welcoming players from diverse backgrounds. His Sova was a club's triumph in 1892. Trades Cup marked a watershed moment as an all Indian team defeated a British counterpart foreshadowing Mohan Bagan's iconic IFA Shield victory in 1911 Nagendra Prasad Sarbadikar's passion for football transcended boundaries and ignited a flame that continues to burn brightly in the hearts of Indians His indomitable spirit, commitment to inclusivity and role in shaping the nation's footballing landscape have rightfully earned him his title as the father of Indian football. So friends, this was my video today. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you want to get more fascinating videos like this, subscribe to my channel and don't forget to like and share. Thank you. Bye-bye.